Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM, where it is still a sad day, guys. You will notice from the pit, the soldiers down in the bar consoling themselves to the overachievers working out to try and take their minds off it, Fatima Turk. The shining light of our assault division has died. It's a hard day, it's a hard day, but we will carry on somehow. We are the only ones standing up against the alien scourge, so we're going to have to do it. And I've hit a button in the wrong place, so right. Um, looking over at the Situation Room, look at all these yellows and oranges. I mean, just, like, look at all these. But thankfully, Russia is not, like, so panicked that they want to leave XCOM. That's good. That was the thing that we really were waiting for. Uh, managed to hold that off. And we're getting an extra 150 simoleons. I don't know, whatever these things are. Uh, uh, a month. So, yeah, with all that in mind, let's get to mission control and let's carry on scanning because we've just got things to wait for, really. Um, the sectoid autopsy is good. We're not really got too much more that we need to um, research before we get this hyperwave beam done. We can do a psionics lab. After extensive analysis of this specimen's brain tissue, we've discovered, discovered some unusual activity in the synaptic con connections that may be the source of the abilities our own troops encountered in the field. Although somewhat similar in physical appearance to the sectoids we previously identified, this commander variant has, a, a, has an easily differentiated internal composition. We theorize that these enhanced electrical synapses, capable of transmitting nerve impulses at nearly three times the normal rate, are the product of careful genetic manipulation. If our theory holds true, that means the aliens are capa capable of modifying even the most complex tissues at a genetic level. Oh, sounds great. That's brilliant. Psionics Lab. This facility will allow us to discover and develop the latent psionic abilities of our soldiers. If they have any such capabilities, and using them in the field will increase their strength. Awesome. We might go and make one of those, but first off, should we, um, I don't know, Titan Armor, Light Plasma Rifle, or the Hyperwave Communication, which I think is the thing we're going to do because it's the one the game's been asking us to be do for, like, ever The work now. that we've done here to adapt the technology of a hostile enemy force has advanced the scientific progress of mankind by untold generations. As we knew it would these do. These weapons, these abuses of science, we still have an opportunity to use them for a greater good. Greater good. We have paid a heavy price, but our efforts have not been in vain. We've certainly had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject, I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. Alright, well, that's good. Awesome. I'm glad my research team are like still highly motivated to carry on ripping aliens limb from limb and finding out what's going on. Uh, with that in mind, should we go to engineering? The engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yeah, uh, if you could just deliver that nice news to me in not the same way over and over again, I'd probably be a little bit more uh, receptive to what you're saying here, but you say the same thing every time every time uh, we don't want to be here we actually want to be in the build facilities so we need to build a psionics lab and i think underneath the alien containment will be the best place to do it what are we missing for it though three power we're missing power okay well that's easy enough we can do that and we don't have the money well i, I kind of knew that would happen uh you cannot do that until you've excavated so we're gonna have to excavate a bit and we can't excavate that until we've done this one and it looks like we're starting to fill up this area here, so I'm going to start thinking about building the access lift soon, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that uh, when we've got a little bit more money. Um, what do we want to do about the money? This is, this is one of the things that we nearly need to figure out. Um, in the grey market, I mean, we don't, don't have a great deal of stuff we can sell, really. Um, I mean, we're down to 10 sectoid corpses. I mean, what, we don't really need them, to be fair. Uh, four commander corpses. I mean, they're only going to give us ten for those. This is all about, like seven for the cyber disc wreck. Do you have any idea, like, what I've lost getting this cyber disc wreck? Uh, cyber disc wreck? I'm not going to sell it for seven. Well, I don't know. People hate people. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really seeing what's going on here. So, why don't we... Get some people down there ASAP. What are you on about? I have no idea what he's going on about. Let's just carry on scanning for activity. Maybe something Satellite impressive will happen. Uh, so the Russians should now Russia be a little bit calmer, I'm hoping. I'm, uh, all sorts of things could be going on in Russia. Who really knows what goes on in the depths of Russia? Uh, hyperwave communication research complete. Let's uh, set some more. Uh, hyperwave relay is ready for construction. What does that actually mean, though? What does it mean? Uh, alien communi communication relay on a 
supra-dimensional wave which travels almost instantaneously. A supra-dimensional, eh? This relay should allow us to trace sources of these communications. Is that So it's a facility. It's something else that I've got to build underneath, eh? Something else that I've got to build underneath. More armor. I could really use some better armor. Don't, don't you think we could use some better armor? It's going to take a while, though. Maybe the plasma rifle's the way to go. Still, we're not... Um, not doing too well for the money it's got to be said we're not doing too well for the money um i think that's all we want to do i'm really not looking forward to our next ufo encounter in fact i've got a feeling we're probably going to get stomped all over i shouldn't have even told the game that should i shouldn't have even told the game let's scramble the intercept interceptors we've only got one phoenix uh, uh, phoenix cannon on the interceptors that's going to have to do we don't have any backup satellites or anything like that we just got to go and, and really have a pop at him uh, the best we can do is abort at the very last moment abort but I, I think we're just going to let him fight out there's not much else we can, he's not got avalanche missiles has he oh yeah look how quick that was that was good that was good all right good good job team we're going to buy them a drink when we uh have the opportunity but first we are going to send the squad out to go do a sweep through the ufo um oh my god who are you who who are you you're not who we want let's get rid of you uh, we want Pedersen. Is Pedersen on the on the team? There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Um, Nakagawa, Williams. There's Kubayashi. Okay, that's that's good. I don't like your name, Sheriff. We're going to have to get rid of that at some point. If anyone can think of a nickname for Kubayashi, uh, shout it up in the comments. I was pretty sure we'd already done that, and it was actually something else. No, it was the other guy that was something else. Uh, our other sniper was called Loki, and uh, I don't like that name either. But, but then that's... Oh, no, we didn't want to do that. What are you doing? UFO crash site. We, we want to send the Sky Ranger. I clicked the wrong button. Ah, let's launch a mission. Spent far too long on this screen already. Whoa. Okay, so we are going out to South Africa. I don't think I've ever been that way. Um, so we'll, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully the natives are uh, hospitable. Oh, look, we're out in the uh, out in the wastes. And we need to get down there fast. Okay, we're heading to South Africa. Like Let's do it. We've got to locate the crash UFO, sweep the area, and avoid damage to the craft because we need the stuff from it. It's standard XCOM stuff, right? Um, so we're going to open strong with rockets, I think. Um, like, could you imagine the size of the team that's going to be inside this UFO? It's going to be deadly. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Which way do we go? It's almost all. Oh look, is this it, is this it up here? It kind of looks like it. Um, so we'll start with where are we? Start with Marquez. He, no one's going to come up this main run here. Well, we're going to go up via this main run, but not straight. Oh wow, straight away. Look at that. Okay, hopefully Nakagawa can get some like serious points in. This is what. Oh, I can't fire the rocket because I've uh, already moved. But if we get a bit of hollow targeting on that cyber disc back there, because the cyber disc is the one I'm scared of. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Uh, and then if we come back, is it this guy? No, Kobayashi. Here we go, Nakagawa. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I don't know which one's the cyber disc. This one back here, 85% hit chance. Do we do we go for the full headshot or do we do go for the disabling shot? I think we'll go for the headshot. Oh no, no crits against um, mechanical items, is it? Uh, but maybe we should have done the disabling shot. That was a little bit good. But we got that as a free shot because of the new perk we got him. Oh, isn't that great? So should we try that again? Should we try that again? Are we, are we going to be able to just keep doing this? Just because he's out of cover? No, no, we only got one free shot. That would have been good. That would have been really good. Okay, so Doc needs to come this way. Uh, I reckon we're probably going to need to put Nakagawa somewhere a bit safer. What can we see? 60, 60. Um, well, we got to try at least try and take these down, right? Or we could shoot the trees. Um, I suppose anything really does work. Uh, we want to kind of split them up a little bit. Or at least split my guys up a little bit. Uh, overwatching here. And Pedersen. Oh, look, we could, we could run and gunner all the way down here. But we know that that way leads to trouble. Um, so maybe... Ooh, Maybe back here. It's, it's a little bit out of the way. She's probably not going to have too much to do. No, not hunker down. Too much to do with this particular battle. But we will see what happens after this this little outburst here. Um, hopefully, whoever he shoots at should be able to take it. No, no, no. You don't want to do that. That was a good shot, though. Well, well done, sir. Well done. 
I don't think my guys would be able to pull off anything like that pinpoint accurate. If they're still there, look at this. I hate these guys. Uh, oh, no. There we go. That's where we're going to fire. 90%. I really thought it wasn't going to let me shoot them with a rocket there. Boom. Job done. This is why I bring the heavies with me. This is why I bring the heavies. Okay. So, where are we going now? We want the assault team, right? We want the assault team. That was the assault team. I just managed to move off them. Uh, Kobayashi doesn't really have too much to do. Maybe, maybe it is time for a run and gun. Maybe it is time for a run and gun. Okay, we're going to go and hide behind this tree. Because it's far enough forwards to actually make some use, but it's not so far forwards that I'm going to expose new bits of the map and then everyone's going to be in trouble and uh, la 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 la. Uh, so shall we move Nakagawa? There's nowhere really under cover to, to send him. I'm going to send him up here and then we're going to reload. Um, so that at the end of next round, if we happen to find anybody, he can really deal out some damage. As he seems to be the one that's really doing most of the damage on the on the team. Uh, like my snipers are really invaluable nowadays. Should we uh, heal Marquez while we're here? Kind of makes sense, really. He does have. Oh wait, no, he does eight points now, doesn't he? Um, though to be fair, five points is a lot of points down. Right, we'll we'll see what's going on. Now. Can't really um, use that med kit on ourselves. It's a little bit. I don't know. A little, little bit inconvenient. I, I kind of understand why from game terms, but it's, as I say, inconvenient. All right, so moving up f for this round, I'm, I'm hoping we can find the UFO entrance soon. I'm guessing a move as strong as this will show us it. There we go, brilliant. Um, Nakagawa really isn't doing much use back there. And yet again, we didn't give him the pistol. Uh, I'm absolutely actually a bit of a knob oh well we'll just have to carry on going with the standard plan using a normal pistol Pedersen can go for the overwatch from here and we're just going to kind of make our way forwards through the normal manner we're going to go through the front door as usual I think go and find the operations center take down anything that's there and then move out and make the final sweep of anything that is hiding out I don't like the way that these guys are all like in a nice straight line here we'll, we'll have to do something about that as we move forward but it is kind of a bottleneck of cover unfortunately maybe if we hadn't blown this log up with the rocket maybe maybe well we'll, we'll see we'll see yeah so it appears to not be a front door that's annoying I do like to knock on the front door and just walk in um, but we'll deal with it as as we can deal with it um, what have we got? Two sectoid commanders. Right, we've got to be careful because these guys can take my guys over. But Marquez is laying it down, hopefully. Kind of looks like it should. Nah, too far, right? Too far. So what have we got? Just those guys? Is it just those guys? Can can Doc fire at anyone here? 50% hit chance. No, there's, there's, there's no point. There is literally no point. Right, should we see if Kobayashi can once again go and get taken over by these guys? He is the guy that's going to move forwards and deal with them as it needs to be dealt with. Maybe we can suppress? No, we can't suppress. So, an overwatch again. Um, Nakagawa, from all the way back here, can't really do much, can he? Uh, let's pop him over here. Yeah, I can't, I can't even snipe from here. And Turk is going to, I don't know, run and, run and gun from over that way? I mean, could you imagine? This isn't Turk, this is Pet. Oh, I made myself sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, let's move up here with our run and gun. It seems like the way to go. Oh, poor Turk. <laughs> okay. Um, right, we're just going to overwatch from here. If they stick their heads out the door, Pedersen has them. Uh, I've got a feeling something a lot more cunning is going to come from them, though. Yeah, look at this. Like, how do we deal with that? Re oh, wow, that's five points of actual damage. I thought it was going to take me over. Hmm, yeah, that's... I don't know, that's weird. That's weird. Whoa! Mr. Williams, please do not shoot at the cover I am using. Oh, wow. What? I can't believe he did that. That's, like, literally killed Pedersen. Well, it's probably not killed her, but it's really not helped. Like, that is really not helped. Uh, okay, well, let's deal with her as she's the one that's fully exposed. Wow. 82% uh, must be a hit, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and maybe if we now get Kobayashi, no, it's Doc Williams, Kobayashi, who can't actually move that far. Why can't he move that far? He's debuffed. I'm not sure why he's debuffed, but he is debuffed. We've got a run and gun, though, so let's 
Oh, every, everywhere is just a little bit... What's the word I'm looking for? A little bit exposed, a little bit uncovered. Um, okay, so let's try over this way. We're, ju we're just going to have to go for it, really. We're just going to have to go for it, though I do 100% worry. How is that a miss? Oh! Oh, that's terrible. All right, well, let's pop, bust out the, the sniper rifle. Hopefully we can fire at him. 65% should be fine, hopefully. There we go. Okay, all the major threats are taken out. We've just got that guy at the back that we have to worry about, which uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue once we get down there. Not that I can see how Marquez can get down there. Is Doc moving? Doc can move. Um, it's all a bit dashy, though. Um... Uh, let's go over this way. Maybe we'll get a better shot. Maybe we'll be able to do something about it. Maybe even throw a grenade in. I'm not, I'm not sure about the grenade. 50% hit chance, though. We've, got, we've kind of got to take it. Else we're going to have a lot of troubles on our hands. Uh, and indeed, we are just about to see what troubles are on our way. Oh, no. No Marquez first. And then we'll see what troubles are on our way. Can we shoot at them? We can. 33% hit chance, though. It's not really worth it. It's not really worth it. All we do is run down our ammo. Uh, maybe we should have um, reloaded. Oh, where have those mutons come from? What? Oh no, Pedersen has panicked. Well, maybe... Oh god, they've both panicked. What do I do now? Well, at least he killed them. Um. <laughs> well... I guess... We'll... Mm, I don't know. What are we going to do at this point? All my all my guys are full-on shitting it. <laughs> um, Nakagawa can't really do much from here, but I did see the mutons up that way, so if we just slowly walk him around here, when, when it really comes to crunch time, he should be in the place to take him on. Hopefully, right? Yeah, that sounds... Sounds like it can happen, at least. Alright, Odin. Marquez. Should we move Doc first? I think we should move Doc first. What's he doing? Um, do we move down this way? What? Do you not have any any movement left? He doesn't have any movement left. Okay. Um, so where do we take Marquez? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's all a bit exposed. Perhaps round this way is the way. Do we, I mean? Do we bring him into? Uh, so many dashes. So many dashes. I want I want to try and get in keep in some cover. This looks good. We'll, we'll see what happens. If these mutons come forward and fire a grenade, maybe we're dead. But I don't think they've got time. What is that over there then? What? Okay, Marquez is up first again. I'm going to come around this way. Hopefully these guys have stopped panicking now. Um, I don't really see much else that they can be doing. Ready to rock. Um, okay, Doc Williams. He's also going to come in here. Um, let's have a look. Do any of these guys be missing so many hit points that it's worth doing stuff. Pedersen definitely. Can we can we heal both of them at the same time? Is that something? That's not something. Uh, so five points here, five points there? It is. Okay so let's do... Pedersen looks most in danger. Ha Pedersen has the lowest t less total hit points left so let's fix her over there. Maybe that will stop her panicking quite so much. Kobayashi can move. This is good. This is good. Um, so we're going to come in from over this route. Try and watch this door. Maybe I should have come in this way, actually. We know the mutons are over there, so we want to try and make our way over there to um, basically try and flush them out towards my guys. Nakagawa. Still can't see anyone from there. Um, may maybe a quick run and, run and dash and stuff. Dash over this way, and then if it's useful, then he'll be able to be useful. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Pedersen is also going to actually run around this way, um, try and split up a little bit from the team, or perhaps down here. No, she, that's already in use, that position, so let's go down this way. Uh, I'm not sure what good it's going to do us, but it stops us getting grenaded, I suppose. That, that is the main thing. So do we just have these two, two mutons left? Is this all we've got left? There, there is something over there as well. A little bit worried about that. More than a little bit worried about that, if I'm to be totally honest with you. But we'll just go with what we can go with. Um, should I open the door? Does this give me a line of sight at them? It doesn't. It does. Okay, this is good. I'm presuming it's good. I mean, one of them's come right over to see me. How could this not be good? So we're going to fire at this guy. 47%? It's less than 50, but... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sweet. 
So, once again, we get the Intimidate that I literally have no idea what it does. Um, Nakagawa can see one of them via squad site. So let's do that. Him over there. Okay, brilliant. We're going to go for a headshot. 55%. What about 45%? There we go. Here's 55%. Let's see what's going on. Bam! That's what we're talking about. Brilliant. Okay, so that, that's made things a lot easier. Uh, Pedersen is going to come in um, this way, I think. It doesn't matter if we can take a shot. It's just rubbish, right? Okay, so we're going to overwatch here. Perhaps Doc can come in this way. And if um, Kobayashi can make a run and gun over that way, we'll try that. Oh, that could do it for us. Ah, job done, guys. Well done. Yes. Managed to do it without anyone dying this time. Woo. Love that. Um, that could have definitely been done a lot better. We took, we took a lot of grenades to the face that I, I could have done without. Um, but South Africa should be happy with us now, hopefully. I'm not sure if anywhere else in the world is going to be uh, more annoyed with us because we're showing favouritism to South Africa now. We'll just go and have a look at the board, I suppose, see what that says. Uh, but Kobayashi gets an upgrade, yay! Or a promotion, as we call them in army games, I suppose. Uh, so the flush shot, I've been, I've been on about the flush shot a, while, a lot recently, so let's do that. Bam. Job done. Look at all these wounded times. Marquez, Williams, and Pedersen are all out for a bit. That's what I mean by we could have done better. We could have definitely done better. Uh, cyber, di cyber disc wreck, um, sectoid commanders, mutons, drones, all good. Uh, flight computers and power sources, are, one of them's damaged though. So shall we, before we leave, oh look, constructed the hyperwave beacon, brilliant. Uh, visit the grey market and sell this damaged um, power source because I'll forget about it next time else. Brilliant. Job done. Um, well, we got down here. Africa is looking proper safe. Uh, Europe, Asia, not so much so. And with that, I will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to try and deal with all this panic. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this panic, but we will deal with this panic. Bye!